I wanted to show you guys the total difference between home versus on the road. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Maybe Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. In the victory lap, Ellen Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse, a young horse, out of a champion flow. She has absolutely been unstoppable. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. We are here in the barn. It is hot, hot, hot in Texas. So I wanted to show you guys the difference of what it looks like when I'm on the road, what it looks like when I am at home. Um, I'm gonna take you in a little bit of behind the scenes. You guys used to see Alex in the vlogs all the time. You're gonna see a little bit of what he and I do. We forgot to vlog some of it because I'm a little rusty about vlogging at home. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the total difference between home versus on the road. It's really different. It's very, very different. I'm living a double life. So I want you guys to see it. I'm a little bit you know, cleaner and more showered when I'm at home, put together cute outfits, and on the road, I'm just trying to get to the next destination as best I can. I smell a little bit like Baby Flo's goat. All right, you guys, check it out right now. Good morning. Okay, it's um, nearly go time to get to the ranch, and I'm just getting ready, putting makeup on. We're gonna shoot some pictures today and have a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be done. But this is typically how the day starts. Why are you vlogging? Hmm? Why are you vlogging? We haven't done at-home vlogs in forever. I know, but we're doing like a at-home versus um, like a day on the road moment. Because we never vlog at home anymore. Put your whole face in there. We need to vlog at home. I know. So we used to do fun challenges. I know we're going to have to do it again. Anyway, this was my birthday present a couple of years ago. And that's it. Alex had this whole closet designed for us. And I think it's so special. And it's so cool. And that's why I'm never, never wearing my, my buckle. Cause it's in there. Stuff and things. And then this I got for Nini. Super special. And then of course, ranch dressing. And half my stuff's in the laundry room, but I'm working on laundry like an actual adult. So anyway, and then a lot of my hats and Alex's hats are over there. Pretty cool. And this happens for about 15 to 20 minutes a day. And yes, there is like a whole library by the bathtub because I'm surrounded by books and sweet boys that love dogs. Wow, Sheba. Okay, excuse the bed, but Bye, And she's been staying here because it's super hot. And, you know, sometimes we have to leave the truck and there's not a hotel involved because we're between checkout times or um, we drove all night. So in the summer, we leave the babies at home. Sweet, Fuzzy. What a nice girl. Wow. Okay threw on some ranch dressing and now it's time to go. I didn't make my bed, I will do that. Um, but we ha are leaving for a trip. We've got 10 days on the road coming up. So I've got fresh laundry that I'll hang up when we get in the trailer and then overflow. And then these, we pack these little bags for three days and then have an overflow bag that we keep in the trailer. And we just pull from that. So 10 days of clothes and then a year's worth of rodeo clothes. We're ready. I'm gonna. Take my hair down so I don't look like a crazy person. Maybe I'm gonna look like a crazy person, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, now it's time to go. Oh, Alfie boy. Alfie boy. The little alien rescue dog. Oh, Huxley. Flunny. Hey, girl. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's where my plant obsession has. I don't, say, I don't think it's out of control, but I've got a lot. I got these from Disney. There's a lady that sells trees in Disney. And so I got those and they're doing really good. This is not doing so good, but stuff and things. And then my tomatoes, which I have to repot. Don't like come for me. I have to repot. I have to get sticks in them so they're not leaning over. I, I, I know, but I've been home for like two seconds. 
So that's tonight's project, is to do that. We're in the middle of shooting things and stuff, organizing things to go to boot barn stores, and getting all of this stuff done. So I want to be, I mean, now what we do is fun and I love my job, but I would really like to be over yonder. Was baby flows over there? She's real Not too. Today. Not today, sister. Not today. And we leave in that rig tomorrow. So I have to have Jose load feed, which I just remembered. Um, it takes a village because I need like 12 people to get us on the road. So God bless all 12 of them. Okay, now me and Lilo are going into the warehouse to pull some of that new new for my road trip. Um, her mom, the one and only Jesse Harmon Southerd, is busy shooting some new products outside. So it's my job to get to be um, playing with Miss Harlow Brooks. Hey Harlow. Hey Harlow. Who is that? Ah! Okay, we're gonna go pick out some jeans. So we're out here getting ready to go on the road and just checking out which horses we wanna bring and just see who feels like they're gonna give us the look. And Miss Harlow has, she has spoken that this is not the horse that we're gonna take on the road. So <laughs> Harlow got on and said, no. So we are gonna load up Mojo and Hush Money. We're gonna go down the road with two bays. Okay, it's time to make the 78 mile trek home. Um, I do have a Tesla, so she is in autopilot. So it's cool. We're all cool. Everything's good. Um, it's a long way to my house. I do love the drive. Part of me wants to live on the ranch again. Part of me just really wants to. Um, Alex is just so happy when he sees animals. It would be a pain in the butt drive for him. Um, so that's the only reason that I like, haven't like really expressed myself more on staying at the ranch um, or building like an equivalent of our house at the ranch. Um, the one thing that's like really super soul searchy, and I guess I'll just say it here because every car vlog that we've ever had, um, I'm typically in tears or like trying to solve inner, um, like things that are going on but I know why it is that I'm okay with this giant drive and I think a lot of people would be like oh my god my commute is so far it's 20 minutes and mine is an hour and a half um in rodeo I professionally rodeoed since I was seven years old and um in rodeo the game is played that should you ever sit still for too long you die as far as the world standings counts so anytime you take a break you're irrelevant, you're getting past in the standings, like you are nobody. So I, when I try to really become self-aware as to why I get so itchy when I'm home, um, it's because my entire life, um, so for the past 32 years, has been that the game is played in my life that if I sit still, I am a loser, I am losing, uh, my self-worth is going away, all of those different things. So for me, settling into the new chapter of adulthood that I'm in, um, I need to learn to embrace that um, really extreme work hours are not, you know, a reward, like I'm not, it's not, I'm not getting anywhere if I have really extreme hours. Um, if I lose sleep, I'm not winning more. I'm not like, it's life, making life really, really tough, um, is not getting me anywhere. It's just hurting my health and my personal well being. So it's taken a lot of soul searching to understand that sitting still doesn't mean that I'm a loser. Um, when I see my friends at the pool or at the lake or doing whatever, um, I have FOMO just like anybody else and I really, really want to be there with them. And then if I'm in that moment with them, I immediately feel, feel like an irresponsible loser that is letting people pass me up in the standings. Even though I'm not actively pursuing the NFR this year, um, you know, I, I obviously want to be in the top 15 and I'm building these horses so that I can go and be really competitive and hopefully get back to the NFR. But um, it's taken a lot of personal growth for me to not see um, relaxation as irresponsibility, if that makes sense. I know a lot of you guys are probably wired the same way. Um, 
especially if you're like an overachiever workaholic kind of vibe. Um, but it's very hard for me um, because the national finals rodeo, the scheduling is 12 months out of the year and it starts before it ends. So it starts October 1st and ends September 31st, but the NFR is in December. So when the season ended on September 31st, it's really not over till you get the NFR over, which is over like mid to late December. Um, so you're constantly just like, you're already, before you even go to the NFR, you're trying to have money won for the following year. Um, and that's why you see a lot of girls for two years and then you don't ever see them again. Um, because one, you figure out like, this is just a whole soul searching little vlog and I'm sorry, but a lot of you guys are going to want to hear this. Okay. The thing about being in the standings and why you see people for two or three years and then you just don't ever see them again is because I think people think that once you achieve a level of success, you'll feel fulfilled. Once you achieve a level of success, you'll have less criticism and you'll be able to say, ha, stick it to you suckers. But I love this quote and I will say it over and over and over again. If a hater saw Jesus walk on water, they would say it's only because he doesn't know how to swim. They would not go, oh, that's Jesus. Now I'm a believer. Like they would say, oh, it's just because he doesn't know how to swim. So I think what happens is people for a couple of years, they bust their hump, they get to the NFR, they're like, I'm a stud, look at me go, everybody has to eat their words. And then they realize one, once you're super um, feeling good about yourself, you don't need other people's approval anymore. So whether they're self-reflective enough to admit it, one, there's not a whole lot of fulfillment that comes from you achieve it and you're just like, I think it's more the journey than the actual accomplishing it. So you learn that. And two, you learn that critics are going to be critics. And the more famous you get, the more critics you allow into your bubble that will be say crazy stuff about you. Um, that's not to say you shouldn't go after big goals. I think that every single person should go after something huge, unrealistic, that's seemingly unattainable because in pushing yourself to do something really, really huge, your entire character is built. Are you kind when you're powerful? Are you generous when blessed with a lot of money? Are you all of these things? Like what kind of character did you develop in the interim of becoming this amazing person with this amazing journey? Do you have a story to tell that could help others? Um, I hope that my story has in some way inspired you and seeing just like that I'm a regular person with a regular job at home. I now feel like is such a badge of honor because I know a lot of people on the road do not have this beautiful experience to be like bring me to tears, but to be able to work with your best friends every day and look around and all your friends are, they're kind and they're so warm hearted and they're so creative and the things that they can just create out of their fingers are absolutely beautiful. And I get to work part time with my husband and, um, all my friends in the warehouse, my friends in the barn, like just to be able to be surrounded by this kind of a work environment is such a blessing. And it's all the fault of a little red mare. And I'm so grateful if I hadn't pushed myself to do something big and huge, even though there's been disappointing parts of that. Look at what I would miss out on if I hadn't taken the leap. So, um, I'm really excited on my days off to be counting merchandise and making spreadsheets on a computer and hugging Harlow and running around like a chicken with my head cut off because I think it's so important and it's such a beautiful journey. And what I'm learning as a business owner is teaching me just as much. So I'm striving for these crazy um, goals in my business, just like I did with my horses. I still have these crazy, huge horse goals. So anyway, it's just me, just me in my car reflecting on things and stuff from a really happy place. So I hope that this in some way gives you some insight um, and some inspiration. So anyway, that's it. I just got home. And so of course, Shiva is there to greet me with amazing Alex and the baby. Wow. I don't know where Frazy is. I think she's upstairs on her floof, which is her rug th thing. But wife of the year, I picked up sushi. Um, I leave tomorrow, so I picked up sushi. Of course, shout out Ranch Dress and Tumblr. Um, and we're going to eat dinner and hang out together. This was just a big time saver. And then we're going to go to the gym. So that's what today is wrapping up like. Okay, so we're out in the garage and Alex is helping me do some gardening. 
um, because these little guys, a friend of mine from Instagram and Facebook sent me seedlings and um, to start growing my own tomatoes. And I know I showed you guys these a little bit earlier in the day, but I bought this little thing to grow them in. And now they're this big. How crazy. Alex, look at how cute you look with your little thing and stuff. You look so cute, Tattoo Man. Good morning. It's a day on the road and it's starting out much differently. We are somewhere on the road and Omaha. Omaha. We're in Omaha. Um, so this morning what I did was ran down, grabbed some bagels and some oatmeal and headed back up. I'm, I'm like out of breath for no reason. Anyway, um, it was a beautiful night's rest right there. You know, we do things different than most people on the road. Logistically, rodeo is really hard. Um, but figuring out how I could get my hotel rooms for like cheap or free was something that took me a while to figure out. And I did that so that I don't have to haul a living quarters trailer. Um, but this is great because the beds are always made, floor is always clean, like everything's money. It's a little bit out of the way at every rodeo, but it's better than pouring gas on yourself, trying to put gas in your generator, only to have your generator not work when you hit the button. So um, today we have five or six hours of driving, which for us is just like nothing. Um, Coco is getting ready in the bathroom right there. We have like a um, really NASCAR style get ready and go to bed routine that we've like not ever verbalized. It Matt, it just came together where we both just like, this is how we're gonna flow this and it's worked really, really well. Um, so I think a new addition to our routine though is gonna be me getting up when I wake up and going downstairs and grabbing some breakfast for us because that worked out really money today. And we've never done that. Typically we grab it downstairs on our way out or we hit up Duncan. So anyway, that's uh, that's how it's starting off. Also super excited that our truck didn't get stolen in the middle of the night. It is my own fear because we've seen so many people talk about their trucks just like leaving the parking lot with them watching. And so I have this like not irrational, not totally irrational fear that our truck won't be here. So when our room lines up to where our vehicle is, I get really excited to open the windows and be like, we got a ride today. Okay, so we're at our favorite stop in Iowa and about to get hooked up and we're in a different truck for this trip. And we've been here so many times that we know this dog and this is Haas, he's a sweet boy. And Poppy is helping us get all the suitcases loaded. Poppy, I'll grab the rest of them and just bring them over here. Hey, you wanna wave to the vlog? Poppy, wave. Wave to me. <laughs> All right. Wait, He's already been on the vlog. I introduced him in everything. Huff. Yeah. Sweet boy. Thank you, ma'am. Also monumental. I'm wearing shorts. It's kind of a big deal. All right. Here's our food setup. Boom. We got iceless over here. 35 degrees, got a little plug set up back here. It's like a three man band. And we have a system. Here you go, Dad. For all of the things. My sweet Daryl likes the grass here, so. We'll take a pause. and ready to go so we're heading out of Omaha Council Bluffs Iowa and heading into Burke South Dakota so it's actually a short drive it's like five hours we're staying about 45 minutes away um, from the rodeo grounds so we're gonna go there first put the horses up let them get a drink get our hotel situated and then we'll go on to the rodeo so here we go okay so we went to the hotel got all checked in put the horses up right here and then took a little nap we tried to do that 
before every single rodeo. We don't get there every single rodeo, but it is really fun for us when we can just like meditate, chill, take a shower, eat a meal, like all of those things. It just helps it keep a little bit more of a normal routine um, where you don't feel as much of the wear and tear of travel. You know, if you've flown somewhere or, you know, we're basically taking an international flight every single time we get in the truck, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, it's a long time. So we try to reset every chance we can. And now we're all loaded up and we're headed over to the rodeo grounds. So we're only staying about an hour and a half apart. We'll get there after the rodeo starts, but I think it'll be just perfect. So time to get in the truck and head to the rodeo. like a lot too. You don't need that in the trail. It's a very yeah, good job. Sweet. This is sweet. Okay. Okay, we just got here and it is time to tack up and get ready. I am gonna ride Mojo around a little bit first and just work on some fundamentals and things and stuff that he's been doing at home. And then I'll saddle up Hush Money. Cody doesn't get to run at this one. Um, but I cleaned the trailer. But she cleaned the trailer out. And Looking it was for the glorious. GoPro. You should show your work of the trailer I, cleaner. I will. Because it's beautiful. Okay, and then it'll be time to run barrels here in just a minute. <laughs> Princess Lady. Have you ever seen such a pretty majestic beast? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. What a princess angel. What a princess angel she is. What a nice girl. Who's the phone? Why are you not coming with us? Like <laughs> that. She's fine. She's like, let's go. Oh no. <laughs> Looking at Mojo like, okay, come on. So just got done running. Um, Poppy is distributing treats, frites, if you've been following for a long time. Poppy's over there, he's gonna give frites out. Um, I rode Mojo around before the rodeo just to like um, work on some things and stuff. And it didn't go like great, but it wasn't the worst that's ever, ever been in the history of mankind. Um, but I had a big stumble at the second barrel. I kind of weaned out, wussed out. Um, 
that's okay by the way um, because we're gonna give 1% better tomorrow we have a rodeo in Michigan tomorrow geographically speaking we're in South Dakota so we got some miles to cover tomorrow so um, yeah day in the life it's not um, you know hanging with dogs and working out and chilling so <laughs> we got some stuff to do tomorrow I got to earn enough points so that I can go home and stay home for the fall and enjoy taking the boat out and doing stuff that maybe you're doing this summer um, that's what I'm looking forward to so that's the wrap on Burke South Dakota okay well I hope you loved the vlog I hope you loved a little bit more behind the scenes make sure to comment and let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and thank you so much for joining us. As always, don't forget to subscribe, ding that notification bell. Be sure to check me out on Instagram. I'm doing lots of giveaways right now. I'm at Fallon Taylor 2 on Instagram. I'll see you guys over there. As always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Did you love this vlog but wish you could get even more training tips and horse content to apply to your training sessions? Make sure to check out thehorseboss.com. I'm excited to be your coach.